The number of children aged 6 to 17 ever having been diagnosed with either anxiety or depression increased from 5.4% in 2003 to 8% in 2007 and to 8.4% in 2012. 8.4% is an alarming number. Why do so many children experience feelings of depression and anxiety? Now, without oversimplifying a complex topic, I think one reason comes from a certain mindset. In our modern world, we have developed a society which is predicated on the idea that things should be easy. Convenient shopping, microwave dinners, drive through banking, drive in marriage, drive in divorce. I don't want to get out of my car. Now, one of the fundamental components of a happy person is a healthy self-esteem. What helps us build our self-esteem? When we do something which is difficult and we succeed in doing it, there's nothing better than that. By making life into easy street, by giving the subliminal message that everything we do should be easy, we have unconsciously taken away a major prescription for achieving self-esteem, rising to a challenge. What's the difference between fun and happiness? Well, Mount Whitney in California is the highest peak in the lower 48 United States. It's 14,494 feet tall. Now, you could probably fly to the top of Mount Whitney in about 15 minutes in a helicopter. But unless you're an extremely fine fettel, climbing that mountain will take you two days. And some of it will involve the use of crampons and ice axes. It could well be that flying to the top of Mount Whitney is more fun than climbing it. But climbing it will give you a lot more happiness because you'll have achieved something quite hard. Fun is external. And because it's external, it's evanescent, it's fleeting. Happiness is inside. It becomes part of our essence. Learning Torah is the ultimate deferred gratification. The Torah is as hard as steel and as difficult to hold on to as water. It takes many years of application of what's called breaking your head to be able to master its sublime intricacies. And yet there's no simcha, no joy in the world like learning Torah. It may not be much fun, but it's the greatest happiness that there is. Yisachar is the tribe of the Torah scholars. A Torah scholar carries a heavy yoke but he's called by the Torah a strong-boned donkey because God gives him the stamina to carry out his task. And even though he labors day and night, he rests between the boundaries, as it says. He rests between the boundaries of the day and the night. How can anything exist between day and night? Isn't that all there is, day or night? The Talmud Chacham experiences a repose of the soul on a spiritual plane that is beyond the boundaries of day and night. On that plane, he rests. He has a contentment, a fulfillment that is out of this world. As the Torah says, he saw tranquility that it was good, yet he bent his shoulder to bear. He understands that the ultimate achievement comes from hard work and dedication to God's holy Torah. And through that, he ends up much higher than Mount Whitney.